I think the sperm is different in terms of our ability to manage high conflict cases, high conflict personalities. I tend to be very direct. I once said to a lawyer, um, what you just said to me was offensive, was that your intent? And I think that approach to cases and the fact that we um, are very knowledgeable about trauma, we're very knowledgeable about um, conflict within a relationship, and are very creative in finding solutions. I tend to know everybody in town that is a mental health provider or a parenting time supervisor, those sorts of things. So I can try to fit the personality with the clients uh, to try to make sure there's a good fit. I think that's what makes us unusual. We're not um, nine to five lawyers. We're lawyers that are thinking about our cases, um, thinking about client matters 24-7. Well, you're not really hiring a firm, you're hiring an individual lawyer. You want to make sure that lawyer hears you. It's been my experience, if the client doesn't feel heard, they'll keep saying the same thing over and over again until they're satisfied that they have been heard. So the concept, the old concept of active listening is really a crucial skill to have. The ability to reframe the statement and feed it back to the client so that they know that you heard them is critical. And I think a lot of lawyers, and I've seen this in role plays and in court, um, are more intent on their experience of the practice of law than their clients. I do a lot of checking with clients. It's not unusual for me to say in an initial client interview, I've only been with you for 10 minutes, but you strike me as somebody that's in deep trauma and that you're not able to think clearly or articulate. And I think that needs to be addressed before any legal issue uh, that you're appearing, appearing here on needs to be addressed. So we try to do a good job of assessing um, the client's needs. I had a client a few years ago, unbeknownst to me, she was, she was 14 months old. Her father stabbed her mother to death and then left her alone with the body for two days. One would never think to ask the, that, the kind of question that would elicit that information. But it turns out I stumbled upon the information and it made a huge difference in understanding how to handle the case, the level of trauma this woman had been in all of her life.